Hello. Uh, first, I'm just gonna like start the loading because it's gonna take a while, and then we're gonna do introductions. So I'm Spyman68, and this is Valley. My co-commentator is Fat Man. Hello. You might have saw my run an hour and a half ago. Uh, so I don't know. Do you just want to talk about like the story of the game to start? Because it's kind of a lot of downtime in the beginning. All right, yeah, that's fair. Uh, so pretty much, without spoiling too much, just going to talk about the beginning. Basically, you're kind of a, I guess, a conspiracy theorist. You're trying to uh, locate something which is called the Life Seed, uh, some sort of mythological idea which I believe should give you, should give whoever owned it some form of immortality. And... You, the main character who's a conspiracy theorist, want to find it, so you're adventuring about. You might hear. You would hear it in the cutscene. All of this exposition is about you, to start. But we skip it. Okay. And time I'm starts now. That. Yeah, so basically, you're just looking for this object, and then you stumble across something else, and still look for the object. Yeah. You're in the Canadian Rockies. Uh, as far as you know. In the uh, Serious Valley. In this valley, there's a lot of interesting stuff to be had. But in the beginning, your ultimate goal is to collect the life, to, to collect the life seed. But you end up with other goals. I don't really want to spoil it, because I think this game is really good. Yeah, it uh, has a really good story, but you have to actually play through it casually and listen to the dialogue because the dialogue is most of the story i also think it looks really good for what it is yeah. especially since i believe this is the second game from the developers i don't know if they've made any pre-games but they're they were known before this for uh slender the arrival i didn't even know that yeah yeah <laughs> See, little little ghosty boys Very friendly. Kind of an interesting jump to go from Slenderman to uh, this, I would say. Yeah. I think it was done pretty well overall. Right, so now we stumble across this, like, exosuit. Um, we can, like, jump and stuff. This is, yep, this is where you get to the big movement of this game. Yeah, do you want to talk which... about crabbing? <laughs> yep, the movement, the main movement is called crabbing. That is probably why... The crab spam has already begun in the chat. Really happy about that. Keep it up. <laughs> He's gonna crab a lot during this run. It's kind of like a strife in a source game, except it's also kind of not. I don't really know how to explain it. Yeah, so what you'll see me do is like, I flick to the side and then I try to, as smoothly as possible, bring my mouse back. Um, just let you go far. Yeah. Here I have to pick up a checkpoint. Or, or it's not a checkpoint, it's just... Oh no, it was a bad hole. You have to hit a trigger to activate yeah. uh, your suit's life-giving abilities. Because otherwise you won't be able to shoot whatever this is. Like, energy? I don't shoot. really know. It's energy. Yeah, it's energy. I guess you could call it life as well. But it's basically energy. Given the trees or life. Yeah, so you can take it away from living things like that or give it to things like that tree. Uh, there's a hidden tree back there that I just gave some life. Uh, normally you would have to, like, jump up there. And it's kind of complicated. Yeah. There aren't a lot of sections where you're just giving life to things. It's just a tertiary point. Part of how uh develops its life system, because that's where you have your lives and your health from. It's from this mechanic. But yeah, this game is highly momentum based in that the the best way to save all the time you need is to just build up speed and not lose it to anything 
Yeah, and, and in order to build speed, up speed, it's really punishing, oftentimes. Yeah, to build up speed, you could go uh, down slopes, and then you like if you jump going up a slope, uh, that's how you go the fastest. Then crabbing. Yes, of course, always crabbing. Yep. <laughs> now I don't know if you do this. Do you do the skip in Susurus? Um, which one? The elevator. This elevator skip. No, I don't. Okay. Um, yeah, basically about that. There's way... You'll see the elevator coming up soon. There's a way to activate the trigger from the outside, but it's pretty difficult. And yeah, you thus, gotta, like, no jump around the rocks and stuff. Yeah, it's really easy to lose time to it. So instead, he's gonna collect speed, pop this gap. Normally you'd have to complete a few tasks before you can go across that gap, but we can just build up the speed to go over. Yeah, normally you'll get double jump, um, and that's how you get across the bridge, but instead we don't pick up double jump, and we'll just get it after completing this level. Yeah. Oh my God, Pretty convenient this. that we just get it on level transition. The game could have not done that, I think. So I'm glad that they let that be a thing. Kinda having a problem here. Alright, so now we just sit in an elevator. Um, that was the first level. Basically in this game we skip a lot of things. That I mentioned you skip. Saves like 15 seconds. Yeah, you can go like up on those rocks and then you just hit the yeah. loading point. Yeah. Guess while we have some downtime, uh, I will I will use this resource. I have been provided a couple of crab facts. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, just in case exactly this happened, the dead time. I don't think dead time's that common, but yeah. So first crab fact. I only use one at a time. Uh, a group of crabs living together is known as a cast, not as a not a uh, not like Indian cast, like C A S T. Oh my God! Just clarity so, must be necessary. Uh, to get away from the cast system, I just uh, squeezed myself <laughs> in between, like in a corner, and then I fell through the floor. So that's fun. Like I don't really know why it happens. This level is a lot of fun, in my opinion. It's just building speed, going straight up. I have a lot of trouble with this level sometimes. It is a pretty finicky level, I will agree, absolutely. Yeah, so I'm just gonna uh... gain, up, uh, gain some speed here, and then I'm gonna, again, skip a bunch of just going through the valley. really good again it's like one of the things i like a lot about this game the whole speed building thing it's such a fast feeling speed run especially when you do it right it feels so good a lot of the time so rewarding yeah now i'm i have to try to get enough speed to break this uh, that floor there usually you would have to go up on top of the tower and then like jump down into it but if you just have enough speed then you're able to do it without going up high yeah the map coming up this one's extremely straightforward Short. there's usually a whole path you have to go through get a bit of a little bit of exposition However, we're gonna do we're gonna do something a little bit different, and it's kind of shocking just how easy. Yeah, yeah it's really not precise at all. I just jump over here, spam E, and now that door is open. Uh, I just like hit a button through the wall. Because why would I go in the door? And then you fall through, and that's in the level. It's perfect, as intended.
Do you know if the uh, fast travel is faster RTA? Or... Like That's in the beginning of this. I don't actually know. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, just so do it anyway. Basically, so we get this over. upgrade, um, and then there's a little prompt you have to skip, and then you just fast travel to the same spot you're already in, and it skips uh, the sequence of the elevator going down. Also, this level is fantastic, in my opinion. It's a really good level. It also has like favorites. the hardest trick in the game. That's true. That's also true. It's, and it's very scary because if you fail it, you have to restart the level. So, well, if you fail it enough, do. like if you run out of energy, I, th I think you need to mess up significantly for that to happen. Yeah. The interesting thing about it too. Well, first of all, that would be the I think that's the first that's the first dupe of the game. Yeah, we're going out of bounds pretty much. Yeah, I think it's the first one. Unless you I don't count, know why like, I Sussurus. completely forgot about the first four levels for a second. <laughs> it's first out of bounds. There's a couple others coming, but something that used to be a prolonged issue with this particular skip is that there used to be not used to be, there still is lag to it because when you're on the very bottom of the level as you will see he will end up being when you're at the bottom of the level, the game lags a bit, I think because it's trying to load stuff. And for me, this lag actually lost me like 30 seconds anytime I do the trick. Which is basically all the time it saves over doing a different version of this route. Yeah, it lags an like way. every time you jump down here. That's yeah, really although I don't think it's jumping. For no, some, I don't yeah, think the jumping people... is what causes it. But yeah. it's also not lagging right now. Oh, you jinxed it. Then someone someone realized that uh, for some reason when you're at the bottom of this level, there's a file that's being dumped with information constantly. So we permitted the removal of it. Did you not do that? No, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh god, where, you, where have you been? <laughs> This is what it looks like. It, it's pretty bad for you, actually. Like, a Hovered and Red Sox, uh, they get virtually nothing. Like, it's a little... little lag. It's like a third of a second, or a quarter of a second. Not long at all. Spyman all right, has so it significantly I longer. Found I found the, the first, um, like, double jump to get up here, but I got the backup first try, so that's good. Yeah, this this is not too easy. That uh, that trick, especially trying to do it with all the momentum you build at the beginning. Yeah, in in the future, Spy Man, uh, get that lag fix. <laughs> all right. Do you have any more crab facts? Uh, I mean, this is kind of an interesting level, but I guess I'll do it. Uh. As long... Okay. Horseshoe crabs are not crabs. They're what not even they? crustaceans. Oh my. It's interesting. Uh, people in animal studies seem to do that kind of stuff a lot. I mean, if it looks like a the crab, chicken is a frog. then it's basically a crab. But it's not. Uh, are you doing chili strat? I don't know what that means. I'm going to the top behind you to build speed. Um, Thanks, you don't do that. No? <laughs> yeah, you don't. <laughs> My strats are probably really outdated. It's... It kind of appears like it, but that's not... That's fine. It's like... There were kind of periods with the valley when it came to actually doing stuff in it. There were a good amount of routes found in the latest one. We just found, like, just a bunch... We just find a bunch of routes within, like, a month. And then just stop for, like, a good amount of time.
as you'll see here, Spyman is going to build up speed in order to... Yeah, that's not good. Fly across. Yeah, woof. You should be able to back him up. It's fine, though. Yeesh. It's fine. I got this. Don't worry about it. Ooh. I've never seen that backup. That's a lot better than the backup I use. It's... There we go. Um, uh, yeah, that ooh. was kind of bad, <laughs> but I got there. Not too bad. At least you're you're still skipping everything. This game is very skip heavy. You can skip so much content. Yeah, there's there's just a whole lot of story elements that we're not even yeah. seeing. Which is kind of good, I'd say, because again, I think this game's worth the experience. Yeah, there's definitely very few spoilers in this speedrun. Yeah. I mean, you get some information, but none of the uh, pivotal pieces of information. Yeah, exactly. Spoil to you. Were we on proving rounds now? Yeah. I think this is a fairly straightforward map. It's just more going around. Yeah, you kind of skip like a whole roundabout piece of track there. Yeah. Not particularly complex. Anyway, this is this is just get to the end as fast as possible. You're obviously skipping stuff, but there's no really tough element. There is, however, um, uh, when you cross this big oh, gap. Good. Yeah, there's uh, like the a game... barrier there. But not really. Yeah. It just it's like it tries like, to push you back. But if you're fast enough, you'll go you right back. through. In this case, it did actually push you back. I saw. Yeah. So you can you can overcome it quite easily. But uh, otherwise, if you have no momentum built, then it's just gonna knock you right back. Not sure how how high up you have to go there. I think I went high enough. Yeah. If you if you play that part just right, you can break the stone as you go, as you're going up to it. Uh, also, I think you went way too high, but oh, yeah, probably it matter too much. I have a kind of lineup for how far I go when I do that, especially because I there's mess a certain up a lot. Stare, but... Wait. I'm just gonna do this kind of how you're supposed to. Oh god. At least you have energy. You'll notice that's an that's that's something that might oh, be useful to talk about. In this game, uh usually when you're playing intended, okay. I don't you're know supposed how to get, get a lot more a lot more max energy. Uh he's messing up shooting trees. This is not the best situation. It's fine. No, don't worry about it. I'm gonna figure this You're out. You're good. But <laughs> this happens to me. Don't worry about it. There we go. Oh, look at that boost. It's good. Uh, normally you'd pick up a lot more energy packets. Uh, you'll see that Spy Man only has two. That's a part of doing the speed run is not collecting any. Uh, Energy pack. I don't even know if that's the right word. Energy pack. I don't know, but basically, oh. you'll usually have a higher max capacity for energy, um, yeah. because there's like upgrades you can pick up, but we don't pick up any of them in the run. Yeah. And as a result, energy preservation also becomes an important element. As a result, we never try to improve our life by shooting trees because that wastes energy I see you're not going for the out of bounds yeah there there's, there's out a of harder out of bounds you can do in this level um, I think it saves like 15 seconds over optimally doing this strat yeah about 
I don't know if there might be more with uh, the thing that I found for the exact end of it. But you still go out of bounds anyway, so yeah, still show that. It's shockingly straightforward out of bounds. So yeah, you just like... jump through a little hole in the wall. Yeah. It's just an issue of they didn't fully uh, patch in all the walls, which, to be fair, can be difficult when you don't just have flat walls. So, I mean, I don't really blame them for that. So now we're on to the last level of the game, which is like, this one has a pretty long out of bounds in it. Yeah, this is a big one. And for fortunately, it skips a lot of uh, important story development. Again, this is this is a really good game to watch uh, the speedrun of without rooting the game. Never actually thought about that. It's pretty good. Oh, very close to death. We haven't. Yeah, there's another out of bounds that you could have done like right at the bottom of that yeah. elevator, um, but I'm gonna not. Yeah, it saves like five seconds, and it's kind of hard. Yeah, and every time you go out of bounds in this level, it's like it's usually really bright, so it's not the best thing to watch. Yeah, that's true. You'll you'll see that here soon, assuming that Spider-Man doesn't die, which I hope doesn't happen. Because I believe if you die, it stops being bright. Oh, is that what does it? I'm I not thought, actually like, I thought sometimes sure. it just happened. Not entirely. I'm pretty sure death causes it. I don't. Not entirely. Not guaranteeing it, but I have high expectations that that is what it is. Yeah, that thing I just shot is a, like a swarm, and we didn't really talk about those at all, but they're the main enemy of the game. Yeah, you get introduced to them in the second level, but we just kind of skipped past it. See, it's really bright. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> Mostly this, this out of bounds. Like the other, other out of bounds are okay. This level is just really bright when you go outside. I might not make it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I made it. I can't see your speed, which is unfortunate. We yeah, the speed our speedometer is actually a plug-in in live split. I think you got it. Yeah. Although I'm a little bit behind. Uh, okay, time is soon. Time is soon, yeah. Time. Yeah, so basically we just skip like a giant scene where... Oh, okay, that's, that's not that bad. We just skip the giant scene where you're like shot out of the cannon or something. And you land A lot of here. stuff happens in that period that we just skipped. Wait, no, we'll just not talk about it. Alright, so that was Valley. A lot of crabs. crabs. Right, put, it, put your crabs in the chat for the end of the run. He finished.